Sun Jian will take the lead. And Yuan Shu shall provide support. We leave before daybreak. Generals, good fortune in battle. Lord Yuan Chu, I am counting on you. Farewell. Common swine. You won't be so smug for long. Thanks to the efforts of Yuan Xiao and the Allied forces, the Yellow Turban Rebellion is finally brought to an end. However, a tyrant named Gong Zhuo utilizes the ensuing confusion to seize power in the Imperial capital and begin a reign of terror. Unable to bear Dong Zhuo's tyranny any longer, regional leaders from around the land enter the South South's call to arms and form an army under Yuan Xiao in an attempt to overthrow the evil dictator. Yuan Xiao and the Allied forces slowly close in on Dong Zhuo at the Imperial capital of Luoyang. Alright, so we've been here already, we've done it. So, I'm gonna go right to the Vow Hu Lao Gate and take it from there. Alright, so I am gonna stay as you want Xiao. However, I'm gonna swap out the models. I'm gonna go back to the third one. So, here we go. Alright, the equipment, the weapon. We have a Sword of Honor at level 8. We might be able to max it out. I'm not going to guarantee it, but we'll see. The items, I'm definitely going to swap out uh, the Peacock Urn for the Wear Musu. The bodyguards are at 8. The objectives we have to defeat Dong Zhuo, and we can't allow myself to fall or the time running out. The unit info. The Allied Forces, you have Yuan Xiao, which is me, Yang Liang, and Wen Shou. Yuan Shu, Gan Sun Sun, Cao Cao, and Zhao Dun. Sun Jian, and Lu Meng, Liu Bei, and Jiang Wei. For Dong Zhuo's forces, you have Dong Zhuo, Mao Fu, Fan Chou, and Wang Fang. Li Ru, and Xu Rong. Li Jue, and Jia Xu. Wu Se, and Li Meng. Diao Chen, Dong Min, and Gao Xun. Obviously, if you are playing this in free mode or playing this stage for the very first time, then Zhang Liao will be here instead of Dong Min. And also note, even though you're playing this stage on the Yuan Shao's Musa mode, if you play Zhang He for some weird reason, um, you will be under Cao Cao's forces. It's just a little bizarre thing I want to bring up, just because, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so let's do it. In the same concept. Shit ton of KOs, shit ton of points, and take our sweet ass time doing it. However, I don't think I'm going to hit the time that I need to hit in this stage as well. However, I will definitely be getting it in the next two parts. If I can't get it here. Regardless. Alright, so we'll go for Lee Monk since he's right here. Whoops. Alright, Lee Monk is down. Wilson's down. Now we just have to wait for the door to open. And I want to get some KOs here, so I might as well do that. And now, I'm going to go up and defeat Dong Min and uh, Gao Xun. And as that goes on, as you know, the ram will appear. And will very slowly start to uh, take down Hu Lao Gate. But once it does, then Lu Bu will appear. Which is the reason why I swapped out the uh, Peacock Urn for the uh, Wei Musu. Because I am not entirely sure if um, if this is going to work. Um, 
as you know, if you're playing on normal or hard, more than likely that you'll be facing Lubu, and he won't be flinching at all. And um, that will make it a lot harder to actually face Lubu. However, I think it happened maybe twice already where I actually faced Lubu. Even having the duel being a draw, if I'm not that mistaken. Um, but I did it and I faced Lubu and he was flinching, which will make the entire uh, battle against him 10 times easier. So um, if he doesn't flinch, the best thing you want to do is equip that Wei Musu because he will definitely be flinching on that. Unless the attack power of whoever you play as is that low. But um, more than likely he will be flinching with the Wei Musu equipped because... Um, that's how it usually is, but um, most of the time anyway. But every time I do that, he'll be flinching, but he'll still be on his feet. And that's something I want to happen if that's the case. But if he's not flinching, well, I'm sorry, if he is flinching with any normal attack of mine, then what I really want to do is not use the way of Musu, well, use the Musu in general, and just defeat him head on with regular combo attacks or attacks. Because uh, at that point, if he does flinch, I know I'm going on about this, but still. And there goes the gate. But anyway, if you attack him and he does flinch and you use the uh, true Musu attack, more than likely he'll be up in the air with the attacks. So it all depends on what happens here. And note, I will definitely be skipping the duel um, because of that glitch, as you know. Um, I gotta remember to do that this time around. So, anyway. We must not fall behind. All forces attack. Take them to a head. Is that who I think it is? It's Lubu! Lubu plot to destroy us! So, let's see what happens here. I mean, I know I'm gonna be skipping the duel. Yeah, I'm skipping it. Because as you know, I'll say it before and I'll say it again. If you challenge anyone to a duel, more than likely in this stage for sure, and if it's a draw, for some reason, and he's not, um, he's flinching, so it's going to be a lot easier to defeat him. Unless that happens, and that, and that. Alright, so this should be definitely easy to defeat him, but anyway. Unless he does that numerous times. He really likes that charge attack, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm gonna leave him over here and let him do his thing. Then I'm gonna go and uh, do that. But as I, as I was gonna say, if you challenge anyone to it, well, in this stage it usually happens here. But um, if it's a draw for some weird reason, if you have the Taurus amulet and the uh, Tiger amulet equipped. The effects of those items will be negated if you challenge anyone to a duel and if it's a draw. So more than likely, I might have, if I really wanted to, I'll challenge Lubu to a duel. And then after that duel is over, because it's more likely going to be a draw anyway, my uh, Taurus Amulet and Tiger Amulet will both be negated and it will be a lot harder to defeat Lubu. And um, in this case, it would actually be more beneficial, but... I am playing on hard mode, and that's pretty much the equivalent of not having any real items at all, with the exception of the way of Musu, but um, I'm pretty sure that those are the only two real items that it really affects. Um, it may affect other items too, but from what my friend and I both uh, tested, it was more towards those two items because uh, you still have your horse. And the, uh, what is it, the, uh, where Musu still works, so. Eh, uh, yeah, you know what, I'll duel her. I already fought Lupu.
shit. There you go. Alright. I was a little concerned there, even though I did have 23 seconds. With such power, perhaps you could. My only concern was her doing a counter and then getting all the health back, and that would have really um, been a bit frustrating. So yeah, I started the true musu just, you know, just to play it safe, but um, I really don't need it now. So the only other beneficial thing about me going right into the Battle Hulao Gate is, well, Wash Young will automatically appear here. So I'm going to take advantage of that. And maybe I'll be able to defeat Dong Zhuo. Either way, it won't matter because we're not going to face him again. So I'm going to just grab the Dim Summon and Musu Wine. I don't think I need it here anyway because I think it is at max, but still. I'd rather Here play it safe. I show my authority. I know I needed them some. And the only good thing about playing is you want to shout out to worry about you the ambush. Me at the Shui Gate, but I won't let you get away so easily. Alright, so I'm going to bolt over and defeat as many as I can over here. Maybe I might let Dong Zhuo go, I'm not fully sure on that. It does take a while for Dong Zhuo to actually retreat, so... If we played this uh, battle siege we gate, then he would have retreated by now. I mean, he does retreat either way, but it takes him a long time. In comparison, if you were to play the stage, uh, the battle of Siege Gate. Alright, so we defeated Wang Fong. I'll go for Jia Xu next. And also note, if you defeat Hua Xiong, then Deng Shu will automatically will try to retreat. So the longer you keep Hua Xiong alive, the longer it will take for Deng Shu to actually retreat. So that's up to you whether or not keeping him alive is a good or bad thing. Um, me, I'm going to keep him alive for now. That way I can actually defeat everybody here. Oh my god, that ram is still here. What the fuck? <laughs> How? How is that ram still there? I mean, you know what? I'm not going to even comment. <laughs> yeah, I guess he was right. Anyway, we'll go for Foncho. That's funny. Anyway. We cannot hold them. Yeah, we'll go for Dong Zhuo now. Might as well defeat him and uh, end it. I mean, he's going to retreat anyway. So I might as well then go and defeat him. The only real way for you to actually not have him retreat is if you actually keep, I'm not going to say keep Lubu alive, but 
if you keep the out chan alive, I recall. Um either Lubu or Diao Chan. I played it safe and I did both. But um as long as you don't trigger the cutscene where Dong Zhu actually sets Lo Yang in flames, you should be fine. You have to do it within ten minutes, I believe. Ten minutes or yeah, I think it's ten minutes after Lubu appears. So And there's Dong Zhuo. Well, there he goes. But yeah, if you really don't want him to retreat, you have to do that. And that's a win. And uh, what I mean by that, as in, uh, you have to pretty much stall and wait for Dong Zhuo to uh, have his men charge out of uh, Lo Yang. And if you do that, then. Uh, you won't. Well, first off, you have to deal with everyone's morale being at max. But second, and most importantly, you don't have to worry about Dong Zhuo retreating at all. So, anyway, that's a win. We did it in 10 minutes and 2 seconds. Unfortunately, that is not the time that we'll, we'll try to get. But at the end of the day, I'll definitely be making that up in the next two stages, or three, depending on if it's possible to skip uh, the final act. Uh, well, both stages, anyway. But anyway. Uh, yeah, so, items, I doubt we got anything good, nope. Uh, the kill count is 112, that's not really a lot, that's fine though, a worthy opponent count is 13. We, uh, defeated pretty much everybody, the only ones that we didn't defeat are, uh, Nao Fu, Wash Young, uh, and his officers, so... And we'll probably have a good 7,000 points, at least. Or 8. 8,162 points. That's a lot. Anyway. So that'll be enough for rank 2. And, uh... We'll, mm, I don't think we're going to hit rank 1. Rank 1, I need 48,000 points. And I was just under it. Anyway, the uh, weapon experience. We have a total of five. Yeah, that's definitely enough. Five thousand nine hundred sixty-one points. That is definitely enough to max out you want Shao's weapon. So that's another one down, and many, many, actually not many, many, uh, very few to go. I think the only ones I have to worry about really are uh, Tang Zhuo's and uh, Diao Chan's, and that's it. If I'm not mistaken, I will correct myself in the next part. But anyway. And the bodyguards, as you know, I can give two shits. We will save. And there you have it. You can watch my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part, where we will take on the next act, which will be only one stage. The Battle of Guandu. So, peace out.